Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very honored to be here with some very special guests who will speak about an epidemic in our country that must be stopped, that we have the opportunity to stop. Before you hear from them, before you hear from Representative Ta uh, Thompson, who is the chair of our Gun Violence Prevention Task Force, former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, our con new Congresswoman, just one week a Congresswoman, Congresswoman McBath, Sharon Watts from my, and uh, she's just been uh, so completely remarkable about Moms Demand Action, and, uh, and I just want to name some of the groups that are here, because so many of them have had contact with gun violence in our country. So many of them have engaged families in channeling their grief into saving other lives. American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Federation of Teachers, the Brady Campaign to Prevent Gun Violence, CAP, Ceasefire PA, Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, Every Town, Giffords, Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, March for Our Lives, Moms Demand Action, Move On, National Education Association, New Town Action Alliance, and New Town Foundation, Violence Policy Center. This is, these are some of the folks who are here, but as you know, across the country, many people are making a decision personally to take action. They are joining organizations to amplify their voices. Those organizations are in coalition with other organizations uh, to, again, enhance the power, amplify it all. Today, for us, is a grief of pain as we mark eight years since the horrific attack in Tucson. Every one of our colleagues knows exactly where he or she was when we heard the news of what was happening there. Some of the news was confusing. All of it was saddening. I myself was at a synagogue for a bat mitzvah, and, uh, but again, everyone can tell you the story. As, as through any crowd that we were in or any group we were in, any place that we were, just the horror of it all came through. Uh, on that day, gun violence shattered lives in Arizona and tragedy pierced America's heart. We were blessed to be with survivors of that attack and survivors of so many other gun acts of gun violence today. But today is also a day of action. We say enough is enough uh, by finally bringing common sense bipartisan background check legislation to the floor of the House. Isn't that exciting? We, uh, the gun violence crisis, again, as I said, is an epidemic that requires the energy engagement of our entire nation. In that spirit, we are grateful to be with the advocates I named, blessed to be joined by my colleagues uh, and participants I named, but I'm very honored to yield to the chair of our task force, the person who every single day, all day, 24-7, works on this issue with great uh, brilliance. Uh, Chairman of the Task Force, Congressman Mike Thompson of California. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> um, as the Speaker said, I'm Mike Thompson from California, and I chair the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. I, I want to, uh, everyone to know that I'm a lifelong gun owner. I'm a hunter. I also carried an assault weapon for a tour of duty in Vietnam. And I'm also the parent of two first responders and three pretty wonderful granddaughters. And it's an honor for me to serve on this task force. Speaker, thank you for making that appointment. And I want to also thank some important partners we've had along the way, the Brady Campaign, the Center for American Progress, the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, Every Town for Gun Safety, Giffords, and March for Our Lives. And I want to pay a particular shout out to the young student leaders in March for Your Lives who have had such an incredible role in getting us to where we are uh, today. <laughs> it's also important to thank Newtown Action and to recognize the Tucson survivors 
and the Richardson family who are with us today who uh, lost uh, uh, their child uh, in 2010 on uh, January the 8th. To all the groups who've been fighting for this issue across our country, their leadership has been incredibly important and I'm proud to be a partner with all of them. Many, like the Brady campaign, have been fighting for decades for this issue. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for the Brady campaign, we wouldn't be expanding background checks because they're the ones that brought us background checks in the first place. <laughs> and eight years ago today, we heard the terrible news that our colleague and our friend Gabby Gifford had been shot. I can tell you it was like a punch to the gut. Gabby was an incredible colleague in the House. She was a fantastic legislator who was just trying to do her job and to serve her constituents. And then it was barely a year later when our hearts were broken after the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Well, everyone knew that we had to do something, and that's when Speaker Pelosi started the Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. For six years, we've been working to find the most effective and the most efficient way to help save lives. We built an impressive bipartisan support, but we were still blocked from holding any hearings or for casting any votes. And even the American people have been speaking out and demanding action on this issue. Since Gabby's shooting, nearly 250,000 lives have been lost to gun violence and over 800,000 Americans have been the victim of gun violence, all the time while Congress stood by and did nothing. But today is a new day. Today we have a new speaker, and today we have a new majority. And today we're going to take decisive action, very decisive action. <laughs> It's an honor to uh, introduce the Bipartisan Background Checks Act of 2019. It's a bill that will expand background checks to all firearm sales. This is a bold statement about where we stand as a Congress, Democrats and Republicans. The bill has five Democrats and five Republicans as original co-sponsors. Congressman King, Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Congressman Brian Mast, Congresswoman Robin Kelly, Congressman Fred Upton, Congresswoman Lucy McBath, and Congressman Chris Smith. And we know the people are behind us. Over 90% of Americans support expanding background checks. And they support it because they know that it's the first line of defense in keeping guns out of the hands of criminals and those who may be a danger to themselves or to others. So today we're going to take a bold first step. We're going to honor with action all of those lives that have been lost. We honor those mothers, fathers, and children, and all the loved ones who miss their families each day. We honor our colleague, Gabby Gifford. And she stood up as a powerful voice on this issue. So H.R. 8 is in her honor, and it's in honor of all those lives forever changed by gun violence. Know that our fight is just starting, and the voices and the strength of the public will carry us through this. And together, we're going to deliver for the American people. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, uh, making this a very different day. So many times after we have had a tragedy, and that's almost every day because it happens every day across America, but a high-profile tragedy, we will go to the floor and have a moment of silence, and that's it. Silence, no action. This time we will have a commemoration, a moment of silence, and in the chair will be Congressman Ted Deutsch of Florida, who's been a, a leader on this issue. Thank you, Ted Deutsch. Come up here, Ted. Be here with us. Ted Deutsch will be in the chair when that happens. When that happens. And, and
and then we will take action with this legislation. I know you want to yield to our distinguished former colleague. I do. I want to recognize a good friend of all of us and the person that I've already spoken about, a wonderful legislator, a wonderful human being, and a great voice uh, speaking up for gun violence prevention, Gabby Gifford. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right. The courage in your ideas. I've seen great courage when my life is on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Democrats, Republicans, everyone. We must never stop fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Be bold. Be courageous. The nation's counting on you. Thank you very much. Now, now it, it's my honor to recognize a new colleague of ours uh, from the 6th District in Georgia, uh, Congresswoman Lucy McBath, who is going to be an incredible member and brings to this the passion that can only come from someone who has lost a loved one to gun violence. Lucy? First, I'd like to thank Speaker Pelosi and Congresswoman Gifford, Congressman Thompson, Congressman King, Congressman Ted Deutsch, and my fellow co-sponsors for their leadership in introducing legislation to expand background checks. Seven years ago, my son Jordan was violently torn from my life, a victim of a gun in the wrong hands. Today, I join my colleagues and former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords to prevent more families from facing the horror and heartbreak that is brought on by gun violence. Too often, sales without background checks, including unlicensed sales and online sales, have allowed guns to end up in the hands of violent criminals. By closing these loopholes and expanding background checks, we will make our communities safer. States that have already expanded background checks have lowered their homicide rates, their murder rates, and their gun trafficking. Background checks empower law enforcement to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and domestic abusers. Quite simply, background checks save lives. I am honored to co-sponsor this bipartisan legislation for my son Jordan, survivors, and for the safety of every family in this country. And I ask my fellow parents, my fellow members, and my fellow Americans to stand with us today in support of universal background checks. Together, we will make our community safer, and the country deserves it. And right now, it is my great honor and pleasure to introduce to you Shannon Watts, the founder of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America and a mother warrior that we all need. Thank you so much to Speaker Pelosi and to Congressman Thompson for inviting me here today on behalf of Everytown for Gun Safety and Moms Demand Action. I am proud to represent our more than 5 million supporters and volunteers, some of whom are in this room today. Two Moms Demand Action advocates with me today, Diana Earle and Stephanie Stone, share the bond <laughs> of mothers whose sons were killed by gun violence. And like my dear friend, Congresswoman Lucy McBath, I love saying Congresswoman McBath, their fight is driven by a determination to ensure that no other family experiences the pain that their families have endured. 
As a grassroots organization made up of mostly type A mothers who have been fighting on the front lines of this issue in every corner of the country, I can promise you that we will do everything in our power to get this bill over the finish line. Because there is no one more fearless, unfaltering, or formidable than a mother protecting her children. I'm so grateful for all of the representatives standing here with us here today and to Congresswoman Giffords, whose courage and determination helped bring us to this moment. Speaker Pelosi kept her promise to the survivors of gun violence and all Americans that the 116th Congress would take swift action to keep us safe. Now our grassroots army of Moms Demand Action volunteers will fight alongside you to get this done. Thank you. And with that, I hand it over back to Speaker Pelosi. Thank you, Shannon. I see Shannon at work in uh, California. <laughs> it's hard to go to, to a church in any denomination without their, us wearing our orange and ringing our bell and under her leadership to make sure that everybody knows that the, uh, uh, the in crescendo is growing on this. And in that regard, I want to acknowledge Mr. Uh, Congressman Deutsch. I want to acknowledge also from Florida, Congresswoman Marcus L. Powell, who's with us here, and also Dwight Evans from Pennsylvania, and Congresswoman Madeline Dean uh, from Pennsylvania. Thank you for being with us. Uh, the it, parents that I have met have said, we belong to a club nobody should ever belong to. We don't want any more members in that club. And we do know that this legislation can save lives. So before we walk, walk over to the to the floor of the House to drop the bill in the hopper, I'm now going to, with great pride, yield to my colleague, Mike Thompson, who will sign his legislation to make it official and make it ready for the hopper. Mr. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.